hi you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome may god bless you all for watching my videos today we are coming to learn how to make this simple and elegant office dress or church you can take it to any place so let's get right into the video we are using three yards of ankara fabric or wax print so we'll cut the the length of the dress we'll cut the bottom part we'll make it box plate so you subtract your shoulder to waist from the up then you get your dress length then you have your you add your sewing allowance for the hem so that's what i've made the i've cut that one so we are coming to cut the upper part of the body that's the bastia it's a off shoulder dress but i didn't use pattern i wanted to use the lining to cut it before i transfer it on the main fabric so that's what i'm marking there so you measure from your shoulder you subtract five or six inches from the shoulder then you measure from the shoulder to your nipple then to your underbars then to your half length or shoulder to waist then you use your measurement to make the measurement so i'm using mine to make the measurement so the you divide your nipple to nipple into two then you use it nipple to uh, nipple to nipple into two then you d divide your that interval into two to make it so that's what i'm using to make it there so i'm connecting the lines then after that we we'll transfer it to the main fabric so I'll go in by five inches, then go in again by one and a half inch. Then I'll connect the lines. So after that, I'll come in by half an inch and connect that line to, to the uh, nipple point. So that's it. So I'll, I'll come in by half an inch. Then I'll connect that line to the nipple point. Then I'll cut it and transfer it to the main fabric so we have everything ready now so so you measure the your chest from your armpit to your armpit that's where your sleeve will end so if you get five inches then you add the that intake that you have the if it's two inches you add that one too then you had your sewing allowance so that's what i made there so we are cutting the back piece I want the back to be a little lower like 10 or 9 inches so you subtract your 5 or 6 inches from it then you mark your 9 or 10 inches then you connect that line to the ham hole because this one will get a ham hole at the side before there will be a sleeve it's not a spaghetti strap that the back will be straight no this one we have to get a ham hole at the corner so i've done that so i'm cutting now so after that i'll transfer it to the main fabric and cut it then we take it to the machine to sew so i'm cutting the lining after that then we put it on the main fabric to sew so that the zipper line i'm i'm dividing it into two It's just for office it's not that something that i will take it for maybe function or so somewhere i'll just wait to work so i didn't pad the breast part i just added my lining i didn't put stiff at the or warding at the bust part no i don't want it to be standing i just want it normal but when i wear my bra everything will be perfect like we, you've padded it because you have that cap at the breast side so you get it right so we'll put elastic in the middle of the front so that one you don't you won't come down the neck will not be too low so you just mark only one one inch then you connect it to the side like so that the way i've made it you won't come down like three or four no because we we'll put elastic at the middle so that the neck will come down when we get there you will see what uh I mean all you understand what I mean
so we are coming to cut the sleeve the sleeve is a puff sleeve we'll add elastic at the bottom and elastic at the top so when you finish cutting it the wideness is 14 inches and the length is 12 or 14 inches so after that you transfer it to the lining then you measure from the bottom to where the elastic will come two inches then you measure again half an inch then you sew that place so you get elastic casing in the middle where you insert your elastic then the top you measure maybe the hammer like four inches or so then you notch that place then the remaining you sew it and turn it then you insert elastic to the top too when we get there you understand what i mean but i want to just explain everything for you so that when you are making yours you understand what i mean so the wideness is 14 inches and the length is 12 inches so i finished cutting the sleeve so now i'll cut the lining i want to add a pocket a side pocket so that's what i'm going to cut there the fabric I use is three yards. So that's the pocket. So we are coming to cut the lining for the sleeve. So I finished making the darts, join the princess darts, uh, sew the lining on the neck. So now I'm pinning the zip line. After that, we we'll shape our top before we attach it to the bottom part the bottom part will be a box plate so i'm now coming to measure use my measurement to make the bodies or to shape the body so that's what i'm making there i'm pinning everything down before i start shaping if you want your dress to come out neat and nicely all the time please pin everything down before you sew so you can see there's a cap in it because I didn't pad it, you can't see the cap, but it's a full cap. So you will see when we finish making it. Now we are coming to shape the, the top. Then we attach it to the box slit at the lower part. Then we fix our zip and the sleeve. Then we are good to go. You can make one for your friend, sister, client. It's very elegant and simple and it's timeless. You can wear it it doesn't pass like trendy things that comes and go no this is timeless dress so it won't go out of fashion yes it won't go out of fashion if you put it down 10 years time and you take it anywhere it will still be in vogue so try and make some for yourself so i'm making sure the measurements i'm working with is perfect so this is the sleeve i want to trim the ss lining then after that we'll mark what i said earlier where we'll insert the elastic and the bottom part so after that i'll mark it then i'll turn it and sew it and turn it again then or flip it again then i'll iron it nicely then we sew where we insert our elastic so now i'm coming to make notch where i wanted that's what i'm making so we sew from here from where i'm marking all round then we flip it over that's where we insert the elastic then the bottom part you measure one and a half inch then you sew that one then you measure half an inch again then you sew it so that middle part half an inch will be elastic casing for you to insert your elastic i hope i'm making sense so now this is the uh, box plate so this is how you make your box plate 
I'm making just two or three for you to see so that I'll go and do the rest of camera so that the video will not be long. So this is it. So I'll go and continue the rest of camera. So this is how your box split have to look. So now I'm coming to make the sleeve. I finished sewing everything. You can see I've sewed the top. So you sew half an inch like so that's where you insert your elastic then from the bottom you measure one and a half inch one and a half yes then you sew straight line then you measure half an inch again then you sew half an inch then you insert your elastic then you sew the size in only half an inch so the length of the sleeve is 12 inches if you want it longer you can make it 14 inches and the wideness is 14 inches so i'll finish i'm now coming to insert my elastic so when you are coming to insert your elastic you measure your around arm to insert the elastic so my around arm is 14 inches so i cut the elastic 13 inches and the upper part i cut it 10 inches in length in the length is 10 inches so i'll sew the upper part of the sleeve before i insert the elastic so this is the box split i finished i'm now going to sew it and add the lining to turn it over then i'll fix this so this is the finished look i hope the video was helpful for you this is where we insert the elastic so if the video was helpful please give it a thumbs up see you in the next one bye bye bye